Hey everyone, welcome back to New Egg TV. My name is Paul, and today we're down in El Segundo, California. We've traveled here uh, because Milos is here. How's it going, Milos? It's going good. How are you doing? I'm doing fantastic. Milos is editor at large for Geek Magazine, and uh, they, they've recently approached us to help out with a, a bit of a build project. So, uh, Milos, why don't I let you take off from here? Uh, what is the build project, and why are you guys doing it? Um, the idea behind the build project is to create an ultimate gaming machine, basically. Okay. Um, the concept is to create an overclocked system mm -hmm. with uh, water cooling, full custom water cooled loop, okay. and a couple objectives we're trying to accomplish with this build. First is um, getting the system put together, which will allow for a maximum FPS rate available. Okay. As you know, out of the box, uh, even modern graphic cards and CPUs and motherboards do really well, but there's there's always you, something you, you can do. You can more. always push them a bit further. Exactly. Definitely. So Geek Magazine caters caters to those enthusiasts and and tries to cover that scene uh, on many levels. So that is kind of the motivation behind this build. Okay. So uh, we got a really nice system set up. Uh, we're going to be doing a uh, custom. Uh, I, should, I was going to say close loop. We're going to do a custom water cooling build in this. Um, and then uh, there's actually going to be some follow-up. So what you guys are going to be watching today uh, is a bit of the build process. If you guys are interested in setting up a, a custom loop, we'll be showing you guys a little bit of that uh, assembly process today. And then uh, the, the folks at Geek Magazine are going to be taking the system, going to be overclocking it, kind of pushing it as far as you can go, seeing what kind of frame rates you can get. Uh, especially, you were mentioning before, um, as, as you guys get more into uh, higher frame rate gaming, if you have a monitor with a, like a higher refresh rate, such as 120 hertz, or 144 hertz, playing at those higher refresh rates requires a lot more graphics horsepower. So we're doing a, an SLI configuration in the build, and uh, yeah, once it's all coming, once it's all uh, put together, um, do you think maybe you guys could bring it by our new TV studios? We'll take a closer look at it there. Oh, absolutely. Okay. We we'd love to bring the finished system and show what we managed to accomplish, both with overclocking, that's going to allow you higher frame rates, um, higher general operation of the machine. But the water cooling aspect will also give us the opportunity to run um, the completely stressed out system mm -hmm. uh, for an extended period of time. Because okay. in a closed loop environment, um, gaming under those conditions for X amount of hours is not going to affect the performance. So if, at all. If you're going to be overclocking, you definitely need enhanced cooling along with that. So that's a, 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 big, a big way that we're going uh, about this system, the build process in general. Um, now, once the, as we mentioned, once the system is all assembled, uh, you guys are going to be overclocking it. So uh, if you guys want to see sort of uh, some additional coverage uh, from beyond what you're going to see in this video, uh, you can check out Geek Magazine. So in a future, do we know what, uh, which issue yet this, uh, this article is going to be out in? Um, the, if everything goes well, we don't, we don't want to commit to a particular issue because as you know, with water loops and custom cooling, we, we know how it goes with prints. For yes, sure. yeah. exactly. Okay. We, we want to make sure everything's uh, up and running. It's a bit of a adventurous project. So okay. we don't want to, um, say something and find out that, um, we had a couple of drops, uh, you know, of water on the system and had to retract, but, um, uh, it's coming very soon. Okay. So, uh, Keep your eyes peeled uh, for Geek Magazine. Also, uh, you guys have a website? Yes, we have geekexchange.com. Geekexchange.com, so you can check it out there. They're going to be posting an article yes. uh, that will have the uh, overclocking results uh, as well as some gameplay. I'm, I'm, I'm guessing some frame rate uh, Definitely. results there Definitely as well. Definitely some benchmarking, some temperature monitoring will be both covered in the magazine and on the website, as well as the follow-up that we're going to do when we get together next time. Excellent. So uh, why don't we go ahead and jump into it, and uh, let's take a look at the parts for this build. So here we are at the dome of computer building that we have set up over here for Geek Magazine. This is where they do a lot of their photography and whatnot. And uh, we promised you guys a quick rundown of the parts that we have set up for this build. So um, first off, we're going with the old standby. This is a Corsair 800D case, uh, which currently has a power supply in it, which is uh, the Corsair AX1200i. Lots of Corsair components in this build. Also down here on the ground. We have uh, some Corsair, Corsair Dominator Platinum Plus Airflow uh, memory. So I'm actually not sure if we're going to be using the Airflow component of this, uh, but we do have the Dominator memory. And this kit is, I believe it's 2166. Wait, wait. 
2666, I'm sorry, very fast memory right there. From Corsair, also from Corsair, the Vengeance K70 keyboard, Vengeance 1500 headset. Uh, we have some of the tubing for the uh, custom water cooling loop that's being assembled. Uh, our motherboard, which is already over there, but this is the box. The Maximus 5 formula, socket 11 to 55. So this is a seven series motherboard for Intel's third generation core processors. We have two SSDs, also from Corsair, the Corsair Neutron GTX 240 gig SSDs. So we're probably going to be doing a RAID configuration with this. Uh, and this box is a bunch of stuff that didn't necessarily come from Newegg because we don't sell all of the water cooling components necessary. So we actually have quite a few EK components uh, for this build. This is, uh, these are the actual EK fans, EK fan silence. Um, pretty exciting. We have, uh, this is the CPU block, I believe, the EK Supremacy water block for the CPU. Uh, we got some special red liquid coolant. It's going to be going in there to match with our red and black Asus and Corsair build. What else? We got more, more water cooling components. This is, uh, so there's, there's two Asus GTX 680s in here, and uh, we got the EK FB kit uh, for the Asus GTX 680 uh, to replace the DirectCU 2 coolers. Uh, this is actually the bridge. Oh, we needed this. This is uh, the bridge here to pair our two SLI'd water-cooled 680s together. Uh, got some radiators here. It looks like we're going with a 120 millimeter radiator and also a 360 millimeter triple rad, all from EK. So big thanks to EK, of course, for supplying a lot of this stuff. Pumps over here as well. As you can see, the build is already in progress. Um, so we've been disassembling some graphics card. And uh, yeah, uh, let's, let's take a closer look at some of the water blocks that are going on over here. Milos is working hard. How's it going, Milos? It's going pretty good. How are you? Uh, we're doing fantastic. I see uh, you're working with the 680 right here. We have the, uh, we've removed the DirectCU 2 cooler with that, which is a very excellent cooler, I should say, but we're going with water cooling, so it's going to be a bit better. So you can see the EK block is currently installed right there. Uh, how's this experience been so far? Have you done many of these swaps before? Yeah, it's going great. We've done a couple of these before, and uh, the front water block, which is the main sort of uh, cooling component for the GTX 680, has been installed, including some, uh, some thermal paste. We're using the MX4 here. Okay. That's all been secured, and um, what we're doing right now is we're working on the back plate, um, also from EK. Okay. Um, and we're just basically taking a very, very careful approach, analyzing all the, all the matching sort of fittings and that kind of stuff and making sure it all, it all goes in properly. Now, since this build is uh, going to be used for overclocking in specific, uh, Milos has been being very careful to make sure all the old thermal paste is removed to make sure we have good contact between all the components so we're going to have the maximum amount of cooling performance possible. That way, hopefully, when you guys start out some overclocking tests on this, you're going to get some excellent performance. Very true. All right. And we can also see, of course, uh, motherboard over there. Uh, we also removed the uh, water block from that, replaced it with the EK version. Uh, that's just going to help everything kind of blend in nice and smoothly. And uh, yeah, we still got lots of work to go. So let's, let's get to it. We do. So far, it's been moving really well. All right. Let us proceed then.
All right, guys, some time has passed since we last checked in. Uh, the build is proceeding quite admirably over here. We're, we're going to sort of take a look. Uh, Kyle's actually hard at work with Milos. I don't know if you guys knew he, Kyle was even here, but uh, he didn't even know I was about to film right now, so I'm just going to jump in and see what they're doing. Hey, hey Kyle. Kyle. Hello. How's, how's it going with the build? It's good. We're almost done. We're setting up the loop. Nice. Uh, they're running tubing, as you can see. Kyle, I, I, I do have some bad news, unfortunately, for you. What's that? We, we need to leave. S single tier. I know. Okay. So as much fun as we're having with this build here, uh, at this point, we're going to have to take off because we got to head back to the studio. Uh, Milos is going to finish it off. He's going to be starting to fill the loop here. Uh, of course, get it all bled, get everything up and running. And then uh, Geek Magazine is going to be doing a bunch of coverage with this build, testing some overclocking, seeing how fast the components can go, especially with this really high-end custom uh, cooling loop that uh, they've been putting together, liquid cooling, I should say, from EK. Um, but yeah, that, that's going to wrap it up for this video. I'm going to help them finish off here as much as I can, and we're going to head back. Thank you very much for watching, you guys. Uh, of course, if you'd like to see uh, more of the coverage of this, we're going to be doing a follow-up video in the next uh, week or two, so keep your eyes peeled for that. Also, check out Geek Magazine if you'd like to see their coverage as well as the re results of the overclocking and performance testing. Milos, thank you very much again for, for, for bringing us by. Thanks to all you guys for watching, and uh, we'll see you next time on Newegg TV.